Senator Rand Paul says he's planning to ask the Justice Department for a criminal referral over Dr. Anthony Fauci's testimony about gain-of-function research at the Wuhan lab in China. NTD's Allison Lee has that story. Republican Senator Rand Paul wants a criminal investigation into Dr. Anthony Fauci for what he considers lying to Congress, and he plans to ask the Department of Justice for it. He explained the decision to Fox News host Sean Hannity late Tuesday night. We have scientists that will line up by the dozens to say that the research he was funding was gain of function. There's still some conjecture as to whether or not it came from the lab, but he's lying about whether or not he funded gain of function research, and yes, he should be punished. Paul is referring to a Senate hearing earlier Tuesday when the two clashed over the National Institutes of Health, or NIH, funding gain-of-function research at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. This research matches, these are Dr. Ebright's words, this research matches, indeed epitomizes, the definition of gain-of-function research done entirely in Wuhan. Do you wish to retract your statement of May 11th where you claimed that the NIH never funded gain-of-function research in Wuhan? Microphone. Your microphone. Senator Paul, I have never lied before the Congress, and I do not retract that statement. This paper that you are referring to was judged by qualified staff up and down the chain as not being gain-of-function. People convicted of lying to Congress can face up to five years in prison. The NIH defines gain-of-function experiments as scientific research that increases the ability of any of these infectious agents to cause disease by enhancing its pathogenicity or by increasing its transmissibility among mammals by respiratory droplets. The NIH had paused funding for certain gain-of-function research from 2014 to 2017. After the pause was lifted, the agency said that such research is important in helping them identify, understand, and develop strategies and effective countermeasures against rapidly evolving pathogens. Allison Lee, NTD News.